Hi guys and welcome to Ed Bhumi's YouTube channel, Ground for Education. And continuing the series that we started with the five Sahib alternatives video, this is episode two. Episode two is how to use Paper Panda to unlock articles for your scholarly endeavor. So the second Chrome extension that we are going to explore today is Paper Panda. This will be a walkthrough video where I guide you through the steps that are required to install this extension into your Chrome browser and then using this Chrome extension to unlock articles ethically that would have been logged otherwise. We are also going to understand the differences in Paper Panda and Unpaywall and how Paper Panda is better in some avenues and lacks in some avenues. So let's move on. So just like the last time, what we're going to do, step one is go on to Google Scholar. Once the Google Scholar is open, I'm going to search in whatever research question, research objective or topic of domain is for my research. So right now what I'm going to look for is augmented reality and brain cancer or brain tumor. Now I have a lot of articles as the search results pop up. I'm going to look at these articles. Some of these articles present with an HTML link on the right or a PDF if it is available. But the loophole here is a lot of articles will mention that there's a PDF, but when you open the articles, so you look at training for planning, tumor resection, augmented reality and human factors. Let's click at this link. And the journal link opens up. We have the article here. We have the publisher. We have all of the details that are required. So from abstract, we have citations, we have author names, etc. Here we have the PDF option. Let's click on the PDF option. And what happens is now full text access may be available. So it's not sure that it, it is going to be available for free. And the next thing is if you have an access through your institution, so your college or any other inst institution, you might have access else you need to sign in. And then also it's not sure that you're going to get the access or not. So even though Google Scholar was mentioning that there might be a PDF available, there is not. Now, how are we going to use Paper Panda? First, we are going to install Paper Panda. Let's discuss how to install Paper Panda's extension. We're going to open up a new tab. We're going to type in Paper Panda. You can do this in the Google search bar or your HTML bar, wherever it's convenient for you. And in the search results, the number one link is going to be the paperpanda.app or app. We're going to click on this and the extension page is going to open up. Now, as we can look here, add to Chrome, it's free button is available. We're going to click on this and the Google Chrome's extension web store is going to open up. From here, what we have to do is simply press the add to Chrome button and it very quickly will be added. So we have a pop up here. We are going to click on add extension. And as you can see, the extension has been added. Now to understand how the Paper Panda extension works, we're going to go back to this page that opens up, which is welcome to Paper Panda. We're going to close this advertisement. And here is a short video, eight second video. We're going to look at it. Basically, once the extension has been added, we're going to pin that extension into our bookmarks or extension bar. And then simply we can press the download this paper option. So we're going to just do that. We're going to go to the extensions option. We're going to look for paper panda. We're going to pin it and it appears here. If we open this particular web page and we look at the paper panda option, this is where it is different from unpaywall and how it works. So paper panda, what it basically does is Whenever you open up a logged article, it will look at the DOI of that particular article. And then through that DOI, it is going to do an extensive search through a lot of open access reservoirs or databases. Now, whatever these databases are, it is our choice, of whatever we want to choose. So we have open access button here. We have semantic scholar. We have internet archive scholar. We have libkey, libgen, Google scholar and Google search. Now, in my experience, the best thing to do here is use the Google scholar link. So what we're going to do is all we'll do is just press OK. And what we'll see here is the page search URL changes. If you click at the open access button, the URL is going to change. For this particular example, we'll be using Google Scholar because Google Scholar is a larger reservoir and it is easier to use and understand. Now, once all of this is done and set up, we're going to close this. We're going to close all of the windows that had opened up. And we're going to come back to the article we had originally opened. So if you remember when we clicked on the PDF button, this is the pop up that comes up either sign in purchase or subscribe to the journal. Now what we are going to do is we have a freshly appeared paper panda button here. We're going to click on this and click on download this paper. And if you remember what we did a few seconds back, 
we click on download this paper it is going to use a hyperlink of google scholar and using the doi it is going to find the unlocked article so we're going to click on download this paper and voila what happens it used google scholars engine to find out if there is an article available so if you look at this it's the same link but now we have a pdf research gate dot net we're going to click on this and here you go the article is open when we wait for the article to load up the article is finally loaded and we have the full text available to us so as you can observe there are 12 pages the entire article is now available we can also download it in the pdf format so this is how you use paper pandas extension now paper panda is better from unpaywall in the sense that it allows you various hyperlinks that as we saw public access semantic scholar etc you can use various databases and repositories to access these articles so it gives you more versatility and more options another thing or another caveat to this extension is not all articles will be unlocked and not all articles will be made available to you all of these extensions work on a legal basis and they are only able to provide the articles that are publicly available there will be no piracy or no unethical means be aware that not all articles will be unlocked but be sure that all of the articles that are available in some repository or other will be made available thank you for listening stay tuned for the future videos and extensions if you want to watch the video where we discuss in detail what are the five sahab alternatives we're going to drop down a link in the description box below please subscribe and turn on the notification bell